Hello, Dennis Sellers of Maximum News on Demand here with news from the world of all things Apple for Thursday, October the 11th, 2007. First up, investment bank Goldman Sachs has raised its target price on Apple from $165 to $195, uh, citing, among other things, uh, strong Apple sales for this fiscal quarter. Analyst David Bailey in a note to clients said that the computer sales should drive Revenue, gross margin, and gross margins and earnings upside uh, versus Wall Street's consensus estimates for the company's recently ended September quarter. Uh, the results of that quarter will be announced uh, in about a, in another couple of weeks, and of course we'll bring the details on that when it happens. Uh, Bradley, Bailey also thinks that iPod and iPhone sales will hit 111.3 million and 100 and 100 810,000 units respectively. Along with his target price hike, the analyst increased his revenue estimate for the quarter to U.S. $6.1 billion from $5.8 billion, and that's compared to the company target of $5.7 billion and Wall Street's estimate of $6 billion. In other news, Apple has won six awards in the 2007 T3 uh, award contest. Uh, T3 is a magazine, and the annual awards uh, honor some of the finest tech products known to man. The iPhone won the most anticipated at gadget for 2008. The iPod itself racked up several awards, uh, Best Consumer Gadget, Best Music Gadget, and Best Gadget of All Times. iTunes was named Best Download Service, and the MacBook Pro nabbed the Drop Dead Gorgeous Award. Meanwhile, in Australia, Apple's plan apparently planned to open a store in Sydney, Australia, uh, which would be the first in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, plans are underway, evidently, according to the report in the Sydney Herald. However, uh, it looks like, uh, based on the way things are going, that the uh, store won't open until uh, early 2008. But uh, the store, which is purportedly under construction on the corner of King Street and George Street, will spread over three levels and purportedly have uh, a floor space of about 445 square meters. That's all the news for today. You can read more details about these and other stories at maximumnews.com. Uh, we won't have a report tomorrow. I will be out of town for the weekend on sort of a mini vacation, so have a great weekend. But come back and join us Monday, and we will have more news from the world of all things Apple. Until then, take care and be